All of that red tape makes it hard to stay afloat. That was the message tonight to Atlanta City Council members from people who rely on the money they make from having a few short term rentals in the city. And now more changes could come to the ordinance, which is fairly new, but still not being enforced. 11 Alive's Don White joins us now live in studio with some of their concerns. Don? Well, Jennifer, the short term rental ordinance took effect nearly a year ago, but the city is not enforcing it yet. That is because of legal questions. Those who host short term rentals say excessive fees and taxes in the ordinance hurt their ability to make money. Hosts must live in Atlanta, pay $150 a year for a permit and also pay an 8% tax rental fee. And we have everything here uh, that a guest would need. Kathy McClure has lived in Atlanta all her life. We live nearby. This is not our primary residence. She relies on the money from her two short-term rentals in Piedmont Heights. We've operated them since 2016. She took her concerns with the new language in the already passed ordinance to Atlanta City Council members Monday. Aspects of the proposed revision are excessive, complicated, and impractical. Some of the changes would include needing a license for each property and every short term rental and a single family home or duplex would need to be at least 2000 feet apart. On my street, I got three of them already. And so the legislation we're putting together would actually uh, make it to where there's like an Airbnb every five streets. A revision is sorely needed to avoid the legal and administrative stumbles including a burdensome and overly complicated application process. Others who spoke out at the meeting are afraid the proposed changes could put mom and pop short term rental host out of business. In Atlanta is not a good city if you can't afford to live here. I've retired and I do depend on some income from my Airbnb that I operate out of my own home that I, I live in. I know that there have been instances where parties or, or corporations are coming in, but this is not the case for the local homeowner. 11 Alive has previously reported 54% of short-term rental owners in Atlanta have more than two listings, and that puts them in violation under this ordinance. Enforcement on the original ordinance is set to begin March 5th. This evening, I talk with the Atlanta City Council spokesperson who says these proposed changes to that ordinance have been put on hold for it to go back to a committee next week.